Breaking news this morning, a fire at an apartment complex in southeast Dallas destroys a charity's plan to provide toys and food to families in need this holiday season. CBS 11's Brittany Jeffers joins us live from that apartment complex near Jim Miller Road and Great Trinity Forest with the latest on the fire investigation. Well, Jen, we know right now crews are still investigating exactly what caused this fire, but you take a look behind me and you can see the damage that it did here. You're looking at the office area. We're told the office and a computer lab is what went up in flames, and ultimately that's where the donations meant for Christmas and a holiday party all went up in flames. Look at all this. The kids, my kids, my kids, my babies are going to want their toys. Their parents are going to be looking for those toys tomorrow. Our pantries tomorrow, so people are going to be looking for food for the holidays. We're going to be giving away hams and Christmas baskets and all the goodies for Christmas. We're going to be in our pantry tomorrow. So this fire was a devastating discovery for Asada Thomas. She's with the charity group Quest for Greater Success. And inside that building that went up in flames were all of the toys and the food meant to go to more than 54 families to celebrate Christmas. Firefighters who were out on scene tell us that the flames and the smoke were pouring out of the community center in the office at the Asante apartment when the crews first arrived on scene around 1230. Dallas Fire and Rescue were able to knock down the flames now, this is the third year that the organization has tried to help residents in the low income apartment complex. And we are told that if you want to try to help donate food or toys to try to replace this, you can go ahead and contact Quest for greater success either by the phone or contacting them through Facebook today. Now, if there is any little bit of good news in all of this, firefighters who are on scene tell us that no one was injured. Reporting live here in Dallas this morning, I'm Brittany Jeffers, CBS 11 News.